I didn't want anybody to know uh, about the trailer I grew up in. I didn't want anyone to know about the dad I never saw. Didn't have a lot of friends. I didn't want any friends because friends come to your house. I was being babysat and my, uh, my aunt was babysitting me and my dad um, decided to come see me. I was a year old before he decided to come see me. I know this story because this is the story my aunt told me. Uh, it's not something I remember at all. He asked if he could come in and uh, he came in and you know he set me on his knee and she, he, uh, he obviously asked her if he could hold me and so I was sit sitting there with him. and. He set me in the floor and my aunt said I untied his shoe. And in a few minutes, you know, that, that all ended and he left and my dad never came back. And I find that unbelievable, really. He, he died of cirrhosis of the liver. I was about 26. So, you know, I'm one year old, my dad's come to see me and he leaves and he never comes back. What in the world is that? You know, how, how do you make that kind of decision? And it's one of those things that, that I, hope, I hope someday in uh, heaven that I get to ask my mom and my dad if they're there. Gosh, why did y'all do that? You know, why, could you tell me that, the, that story? You know, the family picture with the, the dad in the chair, the mom in the chair, the kids behind them uh, with their hands on their shoulders, those kind of pictures. I don't have a single one of those pictures. I didn't have a Thanksgiving dinner. I didn't know what Thanksgiving was. I knew we got out of school. We never did a turkey. We never did the, the family get together. Um, I was a kid, like I said, that didn't, didn't know his dad. I was a kid that was embarrassed because I didn't have a dad. I was an athletic kid. But in the seventh grade, when I went out for football, I was that kid that walked home by himself it was 4.8 miles to my house. But 4.8 miles as a seventh grader, carrying your books and walking after you've had football practice is, um, you know, that, that's a good little walk. You know, when, when people ask you what, what drives you, those are the things that, that drive you. They're eating ice cream and you're just sitting there. That's probably why I like ice cream today because I always had to do without. I always had to watch everybody else eat ice cream. Uh, after football practice. When my mom passed away, as we were going through her things in her house, she had an old trunk. And at the bottom of that trunk were these pictures of her and my dad, pictures I had never, ever seen. Uh, and thought, how in the world, you know, and why in the world did she keep these pictures from me? Why did she not? share these pictures with me. Why did he come to our, our house at my aunt's as, and look at me and never come see me again? I don't know, I won't say that he didn't want to see me because I don't know that, but he didn't come see me. And I know that. So at, our, at the funeral, of my mom's funeral, I took my dad's picture and I took my mom's picture and I put them side by side. I had never seen those two people together. And many of my cousins that were at that funeral literally cried their eyes out. I have three children myself, and I can't imagine. I'm one of those dads that goes to the, goes to not just the game, but to the practice, and talks about the practice after the practice and before the practice. I was, I was one of those kind of dads. You know, today, We've got all these pictures, uh, years and years of pictures uh, of, of Kimberly and I and our children. There's Thanksgivings, you know, and, and so it's massive Thanksgiving, you know, with 30 plus people because the family keeps growing. The first Thanksgiving I ever had was with my wife and her family. I'd never sat down at a table with all of that and experienced that. God is the father of the fatherless. And I was, I was a kid that thought I didn't have a father for a long, long time. And then I realized I had a father. And that was a life-changing experience for me. 
He was there all along. He was protecting me all along. But I do have a father. We've all got a father that's watching out for us. And he's there for you any day, any time.